With regards to soybean row width, we had treatments of 30 inch twin rows, 30 inch rows, as well as 15 inch rows across a plot through three different tillage types. Across the three row width treatments, we utilized a prescription to enable our population trials across the field in small blocks. On the 30 inch rows, we had anywhere from an orange here, 80,000, 100,000, as well as 120,000 seeds per acre. On our twin rows, because we planted it twice, it's only identifying half of the population here. So 50,000 is actually 100,000, 60,000 is actually 120,000 because it was planted twice. And then in the center here, we have not 70,000, but 140,000. So a little bit higher population on the twin rows versus the 30 inch. And then on our 15 inch rows, we have the highest populations, 120,000 seeds per acre, 140,000 seeds per acre, and 160,000 seeds per acre. So first off, let's take a look at the interaction between row width and seeding population. Let's first take a look at the 15 inch rows. So on the left-hand column, 120,000 seeds per acre were planted. In the center, 140,000 seeds. And on the right, 160,000 seeds per acre. As we can see in the chart, there was no statist statistically significant yield bump to the enhanced population. So even at 120,000 seeds per acre, we optimized yield. Let's take a look at the 30 inch rows now. So the left hand column, 80,000 seeds per acre. In the center, 100,000 seeds per acre. And on the right, 120,000 seeds per acre. Again, there was no statistically significant yield boost to increasing our soybean planted population. Looking at the 30 inch twin rows now, the column on the left was 100,000 seeds per acre in the center, planted at 120,000 seeds per acre, and on the right, planted at 140,000 seeds per acre. In this case, we did see a significant benefit of 140,000 seeds per acre over top of the 100,000 seeds per acre. However, the 120,000 seed per acre plant population did not differ from either. Okay, let's now take a look broadly over the plot and see how the row width treatments differed. So this figure shows 15 inch rows yield on the left column in the center, the 30 inch rows, and on the right hand side, the 30 inch twin rows. In this case, across all population treatments, the 15 inch rows did st significantly out yield the 30 inch rows. However, the 30 inch twin rows did not differ from either of the two treatments. So now eliminating the effect of population, there was 120,000 seeds per acre treatment across all three of the row widths. So on the left hand column again is the 15 inch rows, in the center is the 30 inch rows, and on the right is the 30 inch twin rows. In this case, when we take into account a consistent population, we no longer see a st statistically significant yield benefit to those 15 inch rows. I guess the takeaway from these notes is in 2020, across these populations on this farm, there was not a reduction in yield to going to a lower population seeded. Hence, there is an opportunity for some cost savings. Let's take a look now at the effect of fungicide on these different row width and population treatments. On this figure, we have yield on the y-axis, soybean seeded population along the x-axis, and green representing an allegro application, yellow representing no allegro. And this specific graph is looking at 15 inch row widths only. Now on this figure, basically the take home is that the fungicide did not have a statistically significant yield benefit to yields on these various treatments. This is the exact same style of graph, except this time looking at 30 inch row width. Now the populations are also different along the X axis. However, the take home message is still the same that across these population treatments, there was not a statistically significant yield benefit to the fungicide application. Last, looking at the 30 inch twin row treatment, similar story 
where there was no statistically significant yield benefit to the Allegro application, regardless of population planted. So you can see to the line here, one of the effects of our different row width treatments uh, when it came to weed control. Um, so on the left hand side is the 15 inch rows, on the right hand side is the 30 inch twins and 30 inch rows a little further to the right of that. And you can see all these grasses uh, that emerged uh, through the canopy there, um, but only on these wide rows. Uh, that's even with a, a post plant application around that V2 crop staging, uh, still had a lot of grasses come back uh, and uh, and emerge there after the fact. As we looked at in the past, the 15 inch rows did out yield the 30 inch rows by almost four bushels to the acre. So perhaps this weed problem did have a significant impact on our soybean yields in the crop year for 2020. For more plot videos, visit our website here on tractor.com, select precision ag, then select demo plots, and here you'll see a list of the various demo plots we had for 2020. By clicking on the respective link, you can then have a link to additional YouTube videos of the plots from throughout the year.